Thank you, uh, Chairman, and uh, thank you, Minister, for the statement. Um, your statement. I suppose. Look, uh, we are where we are, and I suppose I've, you know, spoken quite a lot in relation to fishing in the last uh, twelve months. But uh, you know, I've been talking to the, to the fishing organisations out there, and um, you know, there, there's a lot of, I suppose, anger and bitterness out there in relation to fishing, and I, you know, um, spoke about that at, at great length. It is now almost a year. Uh, since the Brexit TC was agreed between Michelle Barnier and Lord Frost, but yet they're telling me no hour of work has even begun between our government, civil service and fish producer groups on this critical common fisheries policy review, despite several promises made by you, Minister, and the civil servants about the forthcoming reviews of the, the common fisheries policy 2013, which expires on the 31st of December 2022. And it should be stated that Commissioner Sinke Fishes um, appeared singularly unaware of just how devastating is Brexit for the Irish fishing industry and just how little of our own fish we, are, we Irish are allowed to catch under the rules of the CFP, even in our own sovereign waters. Assurances were given by the Commissioner that a review would take place, so I'm seeking a date from the Minister for when this is to begin and demanding that the fishing industries uh, be given a role in this critically important enterprise. And look, we're talking a lot about burden sharing, and you know, I have a lot of, as I said, uh, uh, time spent uh, discussing about the, the way situations fishermen find themselves at. Because I talked to them down at Castle Down Bear and Glendore and, you know, along the line there, down to Kinsale and places. That was there, you know, some of these uh, men, probably similar to myself, grew up, uh, were they trained for one thing, one thing only, and by geez, it was a tough. A tough life, and and and, uh, and they don't want to hear decommissioning. They don't want to hear tie up. They want to hear how they're going to fish their way out of the problems that they're in at the moment. There's plenty of fish out in the Irish Sea. There's no shortage of it. Uh, it looks to me as if we're hanging, hang, we've handed over about 85 percent of it to uh, foreign vessels. So there's where the problem lies. Um, we're burden sharing. If we were granted equal rights, Minister, and equal opportunities to the natural resource in abundance around our island nation. Just how many do you think would even be considering decommissioning? None of them. Absolutely none of them, because they want to fish. But they're, 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 the few that are going to take the decommissioning, they just had it, they're burnt. Um, you said you're doing your best, and look, in fairness, going forward, that's great, and I fully support you there uh, if that is the case. But, you know, how can we, as, 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 as a, a political system, um, uh, looking at what has happened in the past, I could say 30 years, but we'll go back now over just a year or two, um, gain any confidence that we're now going to be able to equal up with the French and the others. Michel Barnier done a good deal for them, fair play to him, got a hand to him, right? How is Ireland going to deliver a good deal back to his fishermen that's going to have, is going to be absolutely guaranteed burden sharing? There's no point in words next week. We need to know in figures what's going to happen. Um, you know, I just look at one thing, you, you spoke about different fish quarters or whatever, and that's fair enough. But bluefin tuna, is there anybody going to negotiate in this country to give a fair deal to an Irish fisherman on bluefin tuna when the Europeans are raking it up all around us and laughing at our face? We can't get anything. That's just one uh, thing that I can just show you uh, besides others. Uh, so it'll take a lot of convincing uh, to think that the, the French are going to... Uh, settle for uh, less quotas and give some more to Ireland and other Spanish and others um, when this uh, shocking deal was done behind our back um, last year. But Minister, maybe you can tell me uh, where we're going to pick up bluefin tuna, where we're going to pick up other quotas and, and, and have equalisation going forward where fishermen have an opportunity to work um, um, going forward, work because many of them don't know what's around the corner. They don't know, they're, they're basically facing unemployment. And there's very little other than just decommissioning and tie up, and that's going to start it out for a kick the can down the road a bit, but really um, for people's incomes and, and, and livelihoods, put food on the table and to continue the work that they, they've done so uh, proudly down through the years, Ministry. You have to convince me and convince others uh, unbelievably that, that you are fighting and that you and the Taoiseach are fighting this time uh, for, for us to at least uh, to see that the rest of Europe will take a bit of burden sharing on, on, on what's going on today. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Deputy Collins. Uh, Minister, do you want to reply to Deputy Collins, please? Yeah, listen, thanks, Deputy Collins, for, um, for, your, for your, your contribution there. So, listen, obviously, the, the common fisheries policy is going to be, uh, review is going to be really important. 
and I've been absolutely adamant um, at every possible opportunity I've had uh, in terms of engaging with the Commission and engaging with, with other member states to make it absolutely clear that that issue of the disproportionate burden share on Ireland, com Ireland compared to other member states coming out of the Brexit agreement is something I want to see addressed as part of that, and I'll fight tooth and nail in every way I can to try and make progress on that, as I have done so far. Uh, they have made some progress and some measures so far and have worked closely with industry representatives to look at uh, and identify opportunities to improve our position around that. Um, at the last EU Council meeting, Deputy Collins, I voted against the proposals of the Commission. It was the only member state to vote against it because I'm deadly serious about representing Ireland's interests um, on, this, on this issue and trying to improve our position. Um, doing that diplomatically in every way possible, doing that in terms of leveraging our national position uh, on every issue that arises and indeed doing that where appropriate by voting against proposals as well as I did at the last EU Council meeting. So um, I've obviously engaged very closely with uh, industry stakeholders too. Obviously the, the Sea Fisheries Task Force, which I put together, was specifically to try and address the outcome of Brexit and was to have fishers themselves come together and advise me as minister and advise the government in terms of how we can best make the most of the sector and of our natural resource in the years ahead. And that has given many proposed measures uh, that we can put in place that they're asking for to support the sector, as some have already put in place, such as the temporary tie-up scheme. It's also given very significant advice too in terms of how, as Minister, I approach the Common Fisheries Policy Review. Very significant advice in relation to how we can all work together and how I can work with the sector in terms of looking to address that burden share. Uh, and I think that task force has done immense work. And say it, is, it has been the fisher representatives themselves that have framed that, put that together, put those proposals forward. And I certainly hope now, and I'm giving it my full consideration, I've implemented some of them, and certainly hope with the support of my colleagues to deliver as much as I possibly can on the recommendations of the fishing representatives themselves through that task force. And I think it's really important that all members uh, of the Eructus look really closely at, that, at the work that the fisher representatives have done themselves. Uh, I know you've said, um, or Deputy Collins, that you don't support the, the, the recommendations that the fishers themselves have put together and the stakeholders themselves have put together. But what I would say to you is to reflect and consider that, reflect on that, because it is, and I think it's really important that we pull ideas, pull the resources, the thoughts, the brains of everyone in the sector to best represent this sector in the time ahead. And I certainly will lead out at European level and at national level in fighting every way I can to represent them and to, to, to use the best ideas that we have and take the best advice that we can in terms of achieving that. And I do think the work that the Fisher's representatives have done on that task force report at quite a seminal, although ch challenging moment in the history of our, of, our, of, our, of, our, of our fisheries is a really important, a really important report and certainly one that I look forward to, to, to very much working off in the time ahead. Thanks, Cahirla. Okay. Um, Chairman? Chair, I just mentioned about the bluefin tuna there. I didn't get an answer. Oh, yeah. and, also, to... and also, Minister, I just want to make uh, clarify that I don't um, uh, support uh, parts of the, of, of, of the task force, the uh, report in relation to decommissioning. Fully do not support it. And the Irish Southwestern Fishing Group here must cock note either. And they've been made well aware of that. I just want that clarified because you keep telling me that I don't. It's, 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 it's a terrible uh, situation that fishermen find themselves in. It's either decommissioning or tie-up schemes is the best thing that we can offer them over the past 12 months in this country. But look, in relation to the bluefin tuna, I appreciate maybe you might be able to answer me there. OK. Oh, uh, uh, it's only one part of the report you don't... Uh, in the Dáil earlier, Deputy Collins, you were saying you didn't support the report. So, But it is. Uh, it was given very strong consideration by all fisheries stakeholders and all of them came together to fully sign off on that report as well and I think we should all get, get, you know, really reflect on the different measures. There's undoubtedly you know, it's not a position any of us wanted to see ourselves in but it's a position we all have to show leadership on and I think particularly those Fisher representatives show leadership on in relation to looking at the really difficult challenges that are there and to best advising myself as Minister and the Government in terms of how we, how we can proceed and support the industry going forward. In relation to the Bluefin China um, so listen um, we don't have a national quota or haven't had a national quota for it. The, um, the available national quota or the available bluefin tuna quota has been allocated each year to member states on the basis of relative stability as established in the late 90s and that. Um, 
listen, it is something that fishers have raised with me continuously. It's obviously something I will push and press for as part of the common fishery policy review as well. Um, but it isn't something that we've had a, um, a track record on in the past, and that obviously is the challenge, but it's certainly one that I will be leading out on and doing all I can uh, uh, on as part of the, the review. Thanks, Deputy Collins. Okay.